Welcome to Live Interactive English. Hello, everyone. My name is Karen. Hello, everybody. My name is Shane, and today we are looking at the beauty of Florence. This、Ooh. is part one. Oh, I have never been to Florence before. You are missing out. How about you? On nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What do no, you mean? I, no, I've been to Florence. There's a lot of wonderful things to see there.、Uh -huh. There's great museums, but I had my stuff stolen while I was in a cafe in Florence. You are kidding! My backpack was stolen. Oh no! So did you have your wallet and Luckily, everything important inside? No wallet, but I did have. A camera, okay, and lots of things of film because this was before digital cameras. <gasps> oh, okay. Like, this is like when this is like 1997, <laughs> like a long time ago. And I had rolls of film in and there. And they were expensive. Yeah, and I remember I had bought this really nice beer <laughs> too that I had in my bag. And so my camera, all my my beautiful beer and my beautiful your、uh, beautiful beer, my beautiful <laughs> rolls of. Film. That was the. That's the most valuable thing. Those photos were just like invaluable, and、True. all got stolen. Oh no! But did you see the person taking that, your stuff? No, they created a diversion. Like <gasps> they, they. We were on the second floor. Okay. And we were near a rail、mm -hmm. where you can see down to the first floor, right?、Mm -hmm. And there was a commotion downstairs, like people arguing or fighting. So a lot of people started to look. And I think that's what their plan is. That they came and they took my backpack because my backpack was on my chair.、Mm. And so, the, so while you're looking to see what really happened, and they just took your bag. They distracted me, stole my bag. It was terrible. Oh my goodness! Did you go to the police? I did, and they really were, they were useless. So they couldn't do anything. Yeah, because pickpocketing and, and theft like that is really, really common, in, especially in Florence. Oh no!、Um, But at least it's very pretty, right? Why don't we talk about the beauty of Florence?、Okay? All right. <laughs> Sitting on both sides of the Arno River in the Italian region of Tuscany, Florence is one of Europe's most beautiful cities. For centuries, its cultural and artistic achievements have made it a destination unlike any other, and one that is certainly not to be missed. Florence was founded in 59 BC by Julius Caesar, who chose the fertile valley by the river to set up a camp for his soldiers. By the 13th century, it had grown into an independent city-state and one of Europe's richest cities, thanks in part to its advanced banking system and the wool trade. The beauty of Florence, part one. That's right. Okay, let's start learning about this beautiful place. Sitting on both sides of the Arno River in the Italian region of Tuscany, Florence is one of Europe's most beautiful cities. For centuries, its cultural and artistic achievements have made it a destination unlike any other, and one that is certainly not to be missed. It, it is very beautiful. So the scenery, I would imagine it to be very, very pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. There's very nice architecture. There's excellent museums, and there's just a lot of there's a lot to see. It's a destination you just don't really want to miss if you're traveling around Europe.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so a destination is a place to which one is journeying. Or to which something is sent.、Hmm. So, for example, we arrived at our destination tired and hungry. Ah, sometimes it takes a long time in order to be able to get to your destination. Yeah, and sometimes it could be very short. That's true. <laughs> okay, we also have another vocabulary word: achievement,、mm -hmm. which is a noun. A thing that somebody has done successfully,、hmm. especially using their own effort and skill.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, buying this house 
is probably the greatest achievement of my life.、Mm, because you maybe you worked so hard to save up the save money, the money、yeah. in order to buy the house, right? Yes.、And、you're usually very proud of your own achievements. And I do think for me that is really one of my biggest, biggest. achievements is buying a house, and I feel really proud of it. And you should be.、Mm, okay, so continuing. Florence was founded in 59 BC by Julius Caesar,、mm -hmm. who chose the fertile valley by the river to set up a camp for his soldiers.、Mm. Oh, to set up a camp, so some place that they could basically sleep and rest while they were journeying along. That's right. Okay, so when we're looking at this word "fertile,"、mm -hmm. and that is an adjective. If you're using this word on people,、yeah. you're describing it as someone who's able to produce children or young animals, etc. But if you're saying "fertile, fertile valley," that means that this is a land or a place where it's really easy or good for growing plants. Right. Exactly. Growing plants, growing vegetables. Basically, yeah, just land that is very. Uh, ready、mm -hmm. to have seeds in it, and the same kind of idea, just like in a human,、mm -hmm. is that it will, it will grow new life. That's right. So our example sentence is: the soil here is fertile and perfect for growing crops.、Mm. Okay. So continuing, by the 13th century, it had grown into an independent city-state and one of Europe's richest cities.、Mm. Thanks in part to its advanced banking system and the wool trade. So it's one of Europe's richest cities. Wow!、Right? So that, I didn't really know that about that an advanced banking system and they traded wool.、Mm. Wool, right? Which is like from sheep, the fur from sheep. That's right. Okay, so advanced banking system. So advanced, that is an. Adjective. It's something that's ahead, especially in terms of growth or development.、Mm. So, for example, Japan is one of the most advanced countries in the world、mm. in terms of maybe technology, right? That's that's definitely true. Yeah, and I would say that Korea is also. A very advanced country, especially when we're talking about technology as well. Exactly. So I didn't know that about Florence because I thought Florence has beautiful scenery and beautiful museums and architecture.、Mm. So I thought that's about it. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this history of advanced banking, a wool trade.、Mm. Huh, quite interesting. Okay, why don't we take a short break and we'll be back in a moment. All right. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍的旅游地点是 Florence， 佛罗伦斯。它位于意大利托斯卡尼地区阿诺河两岸，是欧洲最美丽的城市之一。那几个世纪以来，它的文化和艺术成就使它成为一个截然不同、绝对不能错过的目的地。课文提到说，佛罗伦斯是在西元前五十九年由 Julius Caesar 凯撒大帝所建立的。他选择河边这个肥沃的山谷，为他的士兵来建立营地。那到十三世纪，佛罗伦斯已经发展成一个独立的城邦，也是欧洲最富有的城市之一。有部分原因呢，是因为它的先进的银行系统，还有羊毛贸易。我们来看单字 achievement。Achievement 可以当可数名词来表达成就、功绩，那也可以当不可数名词来表达实现、完成。再看到 fertile，fertile fertile 是形容肥沃的、丰饶的。那么 advanced 它是形容词，形容先进的、高级的或是高等的。这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来整理一下 set up 的用法。那第一种呢，可以用来指创建、成立，可能像是成立组织啊、公司等等。这时候是做及物用，例如 ，The organization was set up in 1971. 那个组织于1971年成立。第二个意思是表达安排、筹划。是当不及物用之后，可以加 for 加名词来表达安排的活动。例如 ，Let's start setting up for the party. 我们开始准备派对吧。那第三个呢，是表达准备，或者是尤其是指安装啊、装配设备或机器等等。这时候是当及物用，例如 ，Can you help me set up the equipment？ 你能协助我安装这台设备吗
。好，那这条课文中。However, it wasn't until the early 15th century, when the powerful Medici family gained control of Florence, that the city really began to shine as a major cultural center. The Medici family ruled Florence for around 300 years during the Renaissance, which gave the world artists and poets like Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Dante. Today, visitors can experience many traditions that date back to this period, including the Calcio Storico Fiorentino. This event sees teams dress in medieval costumes and compete in a kind of violent soccer game as part of an exciting outdoor tournament. The final of which is held on June 24th. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we were looking at this beautiful place called Florence. Well, Florence sits on both sides of the Arno River in the Italian region of Tuscany,、okay. and it's considered one of Europe's most beautiful cities. Now, by 13th century, it became one of the richest cities in Europe because of its advanced banking system and wool trade. Okay, so continuing along. However, it wasn't until the early 15th century when the powerful Medici family gained control of Florence that the city really began to shine as a major cultural center. The Medici family ruled Florence for around 300 years during the Renaissance, which gave the world artists and poets like Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Dante. Oh, I know all those guys. Do you? They、Ooh. are pretty famous. They are very famous. Yeah. When you do think of Florence, you really do think of the art. That's right. And the artists、mm -hmm. that came out of there. Okay. Today, visitors can experience many traditions that date back to this period, including the Calcio Storico Fiorentino. This event sees teams dress in medieval costumes and compete in a kind of violent soccer game as part of an exciting outdoor tournament. The final of which is held on June twenty-four. That actually sounds very, very interesting. A、uh, violent like, soccer wait, game, wearing like costume, like medieval costumes, yeah, right? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. So, what does that mean, medieval? Medieval just literally means of the Middle Ages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if something is from the middle, the Middle Ages, you can just say medieval. That's right, and we're looking at this word tournament. So a tournament is a competition involving at least three competitors, all participating in a sport or game. Ah, interesting. Okay. So everyone gathered together to watch this tournament, and everyone enjoying the sport, right? I didn't know it had to be three people or more.、Mm. That's interesting. Okay. And then we're also looking at this word here, costume, and that is a noun. A costume is a set of clothes. You wear when you want to dress up like another person.、Hmm. You might wear a witch's costume to go trick or treating on Halloween. Yeah. So, or if you like to cosplay. Uh huh. Right, so cosplay just means costume、That's、play.、Right. So you're playing wearing a costume. Okay, so that's right. And we're talking about the medieval costumes, right? That、Correct. means they're clothes that they used to wear in the Middle Ages. Right, but now they're just costumes because <laughs> we're not wearing them for real because we don't live in that time. Exactly. So an example sentence for costume is: I still need to buy a costume for Pip's. Party tonight because sometimes you might have a costume party where everyone can dress up in、That's、cute or、true. fun or cool costumes. Usually we think of Halloween as a time to wear costumes, but costume parties,、That's、yeah,、right. you can have like a theme or something.、Uh, we also have a vocabulary word compete, which is a verb, means to take part in a contest or game.、Mm. So, for example, you could say every four years. Athletes from around the world compete in this big sports event. That's right. Sounds like the Olympics every、mm. four years, right? Or World Cup. 
Oh, the World Cup is every four years as well. That is right. That is correct. Oh, so they could be talking about either one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so other than the beautiful scenery in Florence, actually, it sounds like there are a lot of fun things where you can participate in. You know, too, like the tournaments yeah. that you can watch. Yeah, there's a lot of cultural events that happen there, and it's not only just about art. Because when I think about Florence, I'm just thinking about museums and art. But I guess that's just because I'm a tourist.、Mm -hmm. So we're getting this information because a lot of us just know, oh yeah, Florence art. Pretty. That's But right. But there's a lot more going on there, actually. Exactly, and we'll be learning more actually in part two. Fantastic. Okay, I can't wait. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kevin 接着提到，一直要到十五世纪初。当势力强大的麦蒂奇家族取得佛罗文斯的掌控权时，这个城市才真正开始作为主要的文化中心。麦蒂奇家族在文艺复兴时期统治佛罗文斯大约三百年，为世界带来了米开朗基罗、波提切利、还有但丁等等艺术家和诗人。那如今游客可以体验到许多源自于这个时期的传统，包括阿佛伦斯历史足球。哎，在这项活动里面啊，各队会穿着中世纪的服装来参加一种激烈的足球比赛。我们来看单字 costume， 它可以指特定历史时期或国家的服装，也可以指戏服、道具服。compete。是动词，表示竞争、竞赛。那补充单字 Renaissance， 它是指欧洲十四世纪到十七世纪的这个文艺复兴时期或是运动。要注意，它当这个意思解释时，首字母 R 要必须大写。再看到 Medieval 或是念作 Medieval， 它是形容中世纪的或是中古时期的。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来学习 It wasn't until 点点点 that 点点点的句型。那这样的句型它结合了分裂句和 not until 点点点，用来强调说直到什么什么才怎么样，或者才开始怎么样。那我们就来快速复习两个重点。第一个要复习的重点是分裂句的句型，它是 it is 或是 it was 加上你原本句子要强调的部分。加 that， 再加句子其余部分。第二个要复习的是 not until， 表示直到点点点才怎么样。那它后面可以接名词或子句。好，那接着我们就用 not until 名词或子句，用来当做我们分裂句要强调的部分。所以这个句型就会变成 it is 或是 it was， 加上你要强调的 not until 名词或子句，加上 that， 再加句子其余的部分。举例来说。I didn't hear about their breakup until yesterday. 好，我们这个原本的句子它是过去式哦。那我们现在先把 not until yesterday 拿出来，把它摆在 it was 和 that 之间。这时候助动词 did 就不需要了，而它后方的动词 hear 要改成 heard， 所以句型会变成。It wasn't until yesterday that I heard about their breakup. 直到昨天我才听说他们分手的事。好，那以上的这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Sitting on both sides of the Arno River in the Italian region of Tuscany, Florence is one of Europe's most beautiful cities. For centuries, its cultural and artistic achievements have made it a destination unlike any other, and one that is certainly not to be missed. Florence was founded in 59 BC by Julius Caesar, who chose the fertile valley by the river to set up a camp for his soldiers. By the 13th century, it had grown into an independent city-state and one of Europe's richest cities, thanks in part to its advanced banking system and the wool trade. However, it wasn't until the early 15th century, when the powerful Medici family gained control of Florence, that the city really began to shine as a major cultural center. The Medici family ruled Florence for around 300 years during the Renaissance, which gave the world artists and poets like Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Dante. Today, visitors can experience many traditions that date back to this period, including the Calcio Storico Fiorentino. This event sees teams dress in medieval costumes and compete in a kind of violent soccer game as part of an exciting outdoor tournament. The final of which is held on June 24th.
Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins. And you can play along too! Hi everyone, I'm Steven. Hi, I'm Kiki. I'm Carolyn. We're going to play Guess the Bear. So let's get started. This first one is a verb. First sentence. The careless boy bared his toy. Number two. Let's put the letter somewhere safe. I don't want to bear it. Break. Share? The careless boy bared his toy. Let's put the letter somewhere safe. I don't want to bear it. Break it? Did you say that? Yes. Oh, Drop. Well some something along those lines uh, i don't want to bear it let's put the letter somewhere safe lose yes there you go good job, good job. okay good so job. the first sentence was the careless boy lost his toy and number two let's put the letter somewhere safe i don't want to lose it okay this one is a noun number one eating too much fried food can be bad for your bear number two Exercising always makes my bear beat really fast. Heart. Okay, Kiki got that first. Okay, so it was heart. Number one, eating too much fried food can be bad for your heart or exercising always makes my heart beat really fast. Okay, so we got one on each side. Let's see okay. who's going to win this I game. Wonder. This is a phrase, two words. Number one, even though they're twins, Bill and Tim are very bear bear each other. Number two, the movie ended up being Bear Bear, the book it's based on. Different, Different from? Kiki said it like <laughs> half a second faster than you, but you both are winners in my heart. <laughs> but literally, like, Kiki's the winner. Yay! It's okay, it's okay. Good try. Good try. Good try. I can do <laughs> Okay, um, so Kiki, oh. two points. So can oh. you read the... What's the sentence, even though... Different from? Okay, number one. Even though they're twins, Bill and Tim are very different from each other. And number two, the movie ended up being different from the book it's based on. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job. I wouldn't have gotten that. 